For a first time Proteus user, there's a series of steps that we normally go through. So Kyle is gonna walk up, he's gonna grab the handle. But remember that there's a limited distance that the arm can actually travel. So what you do is I want you to just pull it all the way out. What you're gonna notice there are these red markings that indicate the end of the arm extension. So everything that Kyle's gonna do is kind of gonna be within this range of motion. So push it all the way up, Kyle, and get into a starting position. So you're gonna pull it out six inches, and he is gonna stand with his arm fully straight and his feet always squared up facing Proteus. I've got five pounds set on here, and I want you to just do a row into a press. A first time user is gonna to wanna to get a sense of the range of motion and the resistance. So now what I want you to do is do some arm circles. Okay, so we're gonna keep it at five pounds. Now I'm gonna bump it up two pounds. You can feel that a little bit more. One more pound. And now what I want you to do at the top, just let go. So what you're gonna notice is that wherever he moves, Proteus is learning, it's reacting, and it's giving him eight pounds of resistance in any direction. He can just freely let go of it, and it's not going to drop. So go ahead and grab it again. I'm going to bring it down, back down to six pounds. Arm straight. Flip the handle. And let's do some core rotation. So I want you to grab your wrist like this, and I want you to rotate side to side. This is a great warm-up exercise, especially for a first-time user. And as he's going through this and getting used to what 3D resistance feels like, I'm going to bump it up to 10 pounds. You'll notice Kyle's going to be rocking back on his feet a little bit onto his heels. And that means that he's planting himself and forces you to take athletic stance. He's getting resistance in both directions. So usually we'll do this 10 or 15 times. Let's stop and let's try uh, arm circles with the other, uh, the other hand. So I'm going to bring it back down to uh, five pounds. And let's do those arm circles again. One, two, three. I'm going to bring up seven pounds, eight pounds, and now I want you to switch directions. So here we want the user to get comfortable with the arm sliding in, sliding out, sliding up, down, and that the handle is moving freely with his movements. Let's move into something a little bit more dynamic. So let's do a two-handed chop up and a chop down. And I'm gonna give him 10 pounds of resistance here. So you start down there. Perfect. And we'll go through this sequence a couple of times. Always remember that you're grabbing the handle at the center grip, never at the foam, the protective layer on the outside. So you just go through the sequence, you can get a full warm-up in a couple of minutes. It's a great tutor tutorial for first-time users.